Hello, and welcome to the show. I am here on a BMNG drive going to, well, be destroying some cars. The aim of this challenge is to have them survive. However, we are asking them to survive this drop. Now, on the stairway mountain map, uh, there are plenty of roads that wheel their way down this mountain. You know, there's a dirt track, there's a tarmac road, and so on. But we are going to be going straight down. Not quite vertically straight down, but towards the end, it gets bloody steep. And then we're going to hit sand. Now, the task for our cars is to get to the beach and still be drivable. I'm not, however, allowed to use the brakes. I cannot slow the car down myself. Now, when it hits sand, this will slow the car down. But there is... Well, it's going to be hitting it very fast. It's bumpy. And there is always the risk of the car sort of digging into the sand and rolling over. We're going to be going fast, and it's still quite steep downhill when you get to the sand. So not only are we going to be going fast, we're going to be having some gravity assistance as we hit the sand and dig in. The car will probably flip and cartwheel and disintegrate around. So, you know, that should be fun. Uh, hopefully, uh, the little driving school Cobbett might be able to survive. I'm going to put the car in neutral. I've just got to kind of jump it forward a little bit, get it going. Stick the car in neutral. Let uh, gravity do the work for us here. I have got control of the car steering, so I can position the car where I want, and when we do hit the sand, I might be able to prevent it rolling over. I might be able to get control of the car uh, briefly as we go into... Oh, it's a good start. Oh, it's a bad... Se there's a bad secondary bounce there. Oh, cartwheeling's not going to go well, potentially, for the coverts. Actually, it's not... Ah, it's, it's hitting the back where it's hitting hardest. This... Um, <laughs> this isn't how things are supposed to go. Uh, it's gone for a roll. There's a massive amount of cartwheels in there however i could not have asked for a more perfect first that's not right i mean the back seats you wouldn't have had a fun time in Let, let's be honest there uh, in the back seats you would not have had a fun <laughs> a fun time literally perfect on the first run the comet is completely well i say completely drivable the steering is a little bit balked. Um, we kind of go round in a circle. Uh, we go left and that is all it does. However, the engine, perfectly fine. The wheel axles are allowing drive to go through. They are a little bit bent. The engine's almost out of the bonnet. Every single hit that that did down the sand, it hit on the rear of the car. <laughs> you couldn't ask for it to go better, really, down there, other than stay, stay controlled across the sand for the entirety. I was going to have three goes with each car to see if to see if they could you know, survive any of them. Apparently, for first attempt. Is that pure and utter luck? I don't know. I've also just noticed the sticker on the back of this saying, Shaping Safe Drivers. Um... I mean... Yeah. I, I'm not necessarily doing anything dangerous per se. It's a driving point of view aside from throwing the car at 150 onto some sand. Which I guess in itself is all that's not... Oh, quite how I want that to be going. <laughs> that is the most vicious roll I think I've done on this game. I think I've done on any game, perhaps. <laughs> the speed at which that was rolling was incredible. Uh, oh, both the front axles have gone. It's uh, dug into the sand and eventually come to a rest upside down. I mean, the, the actual... Oh, I didn't even need to help it. The actual, oh, the actual driver's seat. Oh, that's where the uh, the onboard camera reckons I should be, under the map. Well, that tells you about the uh, the damage uh, <laughs> from onboard the hood. If this one hit, the engine is technically going to run. I mean, the passenger, the way that the roof's kind of buckled upwards, the passenger's okay. You would have been decapitated just from the rolls alone like the speed of those rolls were uh, were vicious that definitely didn't survive that <laughs> uh, definitely definitely did not survive the uh, plummeting down there okay one more go one more go with the cover we kind of gone left side on the first run worked pretty well uh, right hand side did not work at all it worked initially it looked promising and then we hit a bump and then it got very airborne and then the violent twist death roll began. Uh, so <laughs> let's not go there. We'll try and go very much in the uh, in the middle this time around. Oh, that's that bump again that's caught it. Ooh, okay, we're going for... No, we're going for cartwheels again. Uh, if this lands on the engine when it's cartwheeling, that will break the front end. 
if it oh or it can land on a front wheel like that yeah it's, it's that the whole trying to protect the front of the car in a, in a front wheel drive car of course everything's done at the front the front must be protected at all costs and we're not going to be drivable with an axle gone a surprising amount of fire coming out of a driving school car. Uh, with an axle gone, the diffs in this is never going to ever let it drive. Uh, onboard camera? Well, that's kind of to the left a little bit. A little bit, roof a little bit through the head of the driver. Ooh, the rear seats are a bit squished. Uh, the back end of the car is actually at uh, all sorts of wonky angles. We've managed to bend and twist it. So, okay. First time was pure luck. The Covet did survive it. Although on subsequent runs, not quite so well. Well, it only seems right we should have a uh, muscle car take on this course. The uh, Moonhawk is a very, very tough vehicle. It can take a hell of a beating before it eventually gives up. However, the viciousness of the rolling that is going to uh, take place here... I, I don't know. It's the drive shaft that concerns me about this. Rear, with a rear-wheel drive car, the drive shaft... Like, the front gets hit, the engine goes. The rear gets hit, the drive goes. I think it's going to be difficult for the Moonhawk to uh, to survive, but we shall give it a go. This one is a V10-powered Moonhawk. Not that we are going to be using the engine whatsoever. Ooh! Oh, no! Secondary bump! Secondary bounce! Oh, it's almost, almost made it a lovely clean way down. In fact, it is going to probably, unless something very important snaps at this stage, that was nearly perfectly hit the sand and cruised its way down. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure that, uh, oh, this might struggle to move because the rear is bent in such a way that uh, it doesn't allow the wheels to get traction. Now, the slick tyres on this won't have much grip in the sand, but I think there might be bigger issues in this, that the rear is bent so that the wheels barely touch the ground anyway. I mean, I think that counts as a fail, perhaps, on this. It's an, un it's an unusual fail. I wasn't expecting it to go like that. However... <laughs> That was so nearly perfectly composed. That was so nearly perfectly composed the whole way down. And then a bent up, well, the bent in the rear car, bent chassis essentially is what did it. That, that, the middle line through there does seem pretty safe. There's still a big bump a bit further down. But uh, we'll, we'll try, we'll experiment with other, with other parts. We'll hit the left hand side. Oh, that's not going to go well. I'm going to have to try frantically grab that. Oh, I can't. <laughs> the rear of the car's got turned slightly sideways in uh, oh, in that descent and try as I might to grab it in time. Damn, that's hit. The, f the front of the car has taken a horrendous battering and the engine's okay with it. Oh, the rear is definitely not touching the ground. We've lost a wheel. <laughs> the one wheel that is left does spin. Yeah, the, the wheel that is left does spin. It would be workable. We do have one wheel for steering. God, oh, look at the front. <laughs> How that engine didn't take catastrophic damage, I don't know. The radiator's gone. Um, the radiator's beaten up. Oh, the engine is now disabled. wonder what caused the engine to disable. Um, I don't actually... What caused that engine to fail? I mean, it, it looks like it should have done, but... Uh, Maybe over rev with me sat there revving it and other things broken? I don't know. Either way, that engine is buggered and the Moonhawk has definitely not survived. <laughs> right. If we are going to make it down here, I think maybe slightly to the right of the middle. We're going to try and avoid the bump that rolled this car on that first attempt. If we can avoid that bump, we will probably... They probably potentially be okay because the downside with this being a race car is very low any bumps it is going to hit plus side of it being a race car low center of mass so if it does start uh, ooh, going sideways it might possibly be able to get control oh just <laughs> really had to fight that one really had to fight that one from going over but it will come to a wrap. It's still going 50 miles an hour as it comes to the bottom of the mountain. That's how we do it. The Moonhawk survives its descent down here. A lot of fire just came out of the exhaust. Yep, the Moonhawk survives its descent down here. No problem. 
So it wasn't just the wheel stuck in the sand as well. Now the car is clearly driving. It was the bent up chassis. That was dicey. That was very dicey indeed. I had to really work the steering to get that one down, but the Moonhawk lives to uh, fight another day. Well, up next, we have got a Sunburst. This all-wheel drive police spec might, again, might stand a pretty decent chance of, of surviving down here. It is... Again, a decently tough car. We've seen this in various destruction series, how well it holds on to a life. And being all-wheel drive, we lose a wheel. It's not a complete disaster. There will probably be some form of drive somewhere. Um, but, again, low ground clearance. Not full-on race car, but low ground clearance could prove issues across the bumps. Or it could help stop it from rolling over. Although the cartwheel, oh, this is going to be a real painful hit. When it does touch back down again, everything's gone in the sunburst. All of the all of the axles and drive shafts and I said if we lose a wheel, it's not going to be a complete catastrophic failure. If we lose uh, drive shafts everywhere, that that will be a problem. Amazingly, three wheels did just about cling on to life on the car. <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, everything dead in that. Yeah, that's not good. If we have the uh, the, the rolls that the rolls down the sand, we can deal with when they're at low level because that that damage the energy is being dissipated when it gets airborne like that that's uh, i love how the light bar is still working on the beach uh, when it gets the height when it gets bounced in the air like that when it crashes back down that's what did the damage there's a huge amount of force going into like 140 mile an hour hit on the ground and that's gonna just disintegrate the car so no survival for the sunburst on its uh, opening attempt uh, we're getting pretty consistent uh, speeds as well down here of course gravity is going to be consistent but the i guess all the wind resistance the aerodynamics of the car are going to be different so the slippery of the car the faster it's going to be going uh, by the time it gets down here but everything's been getting around the 140 150 mile an hour mark that's oh it was a good initial uh, hit on the sand oh one wheel's gone that's a very violent twist i'd rather a roll than a cartwheel no oh, we've lost ah oh, that the engine's gone the engine's had it uh, the cartwheeling was not uh, kind enough to avoid the engine this time around i mean it's kept more into a car shape this time around oh <laughs> wheel the wheels got i think we are lit we were skimming with a bit of bodywork over there across the water <laughs> that's fantastic that's absolutely fantastic from whatever that was i don't know where the other wheel's gone um we are definitely losing two wheels oh, for, for a second i thought that was like oil dripping down that's just uh, when you look underneath the train slightly uh, oh is that the other wheel there i think it is the other wheel coming down the side of the let's go have an investigate are you the the first wheel that pinged off uh, oh no you're the <laughs> bumpers rolling down don't know uh, i don't know it might have been both wheels i guess that went into the bottom of the ocean uh, or, or floating on the ocean in fact that one there is floating uh, in fact that one there is still spinning is the speed that it got uh, what debris oh no it was it was two wheels that made, <laughs> made it to the water brilliant i'm liking this game this is fun uh <laughs> sunburst probably not liking it so much that's a very broken police car okay so far, tactics not working working very well with this car. We've got it. We've got to really keep it in the middle, I think, of the the road path, whatever you want to call it, down here to try and avoid the bumps. But as soon as this car's hitting it, it's getting airborne and it's twisting so quickly. I don't have time to catch it. With the Moonhawk, I did have time to gather the car back up. Now it's going to go go again. We need a we well we need a low oh a low elevation roll, and that is not going to be a low elevation roll. That is going to be a disinter complete disintegration roll there uh, another wheel is going to spin and violently twist its way into the water we're going to end up with two wheels on our car one not really connected hey! <laughs> oh, <laughs> wheels are brilliant the, the good news the first time the engine has survived on the sunburst uh, did i just see a I mean, the, the wheel, the, the single wheel with the drive axle does briefly spin. The diff stops it from actually getting any sort of drive, but <laughs> that's not surviving there. That is not surviving there whatsoever. It just rolls so quickly. I don't have time to even try and catch it with the sunburst. So that is a fail. And in fact, the first car to, uh, to fail this challenge. Well, for the final vehicle here... I'm going to be taking an ambulance. Now, plus points for this? 
well is a lot of bodywork to deform, and if this rolls in the right way, a lot of energy can be taken up in destroying the bodywork and keeping the running, the mechanics, of the vehicle fine. And it's also not exactly a great shape for carving through the air. It'll probably be hitting a little bit slower. The downside? Well, there's a lot of weight behind this, and we're still going to be hitting a decent amount of speed, and the force, the momentum at which this is going to be hitting the ground, is going to be high. And if that happens to land on, you know, important bits, engine, driveline, wheels, and so on, yeah, I don't think the ambulance is going to be able to survive. It's also got a fairly high centre of mass, I would imagine. Certainly more so than the sports cars and the muscle race cars. So that probably won't help its uh, case too much. Here we go. On to the sand. Please don't bounce around. Oh, tyre's punctured. Another tyre's punctured. Now we start twisting and shedding bits of bodywork. But the cartwheel, though, is good. The cartwheel is very, very good because I think the ambulance might survive. <laughs> Uh, oh, I don't have any steering, though. I don't have any steering, and in terms of uh, surviving drivability-wise, I mean, steering is quite an important uh, characteristic of a vehicle. The tyres are gone. The, ba <laughs> the, the the ambulance is, yeah, ambulance part of this is all very... I'm amazed, amazed that that survived the, uh, the impacts in all of that. Well, what I said, the positives, there's a lot of bodywork to soak up soak up damage. That did happen. The tyres didn't like the, uh, the impacts, and the steering is knackered. So there is potential for this to survive better. But not a bad first run. Not a bad first run at all. Shall we have a go with this? We'll go, we'll go with this from first person, okay? I, if this gets into a violent spin, I apologise to everybody uh, <laughs> watching this on a big screen. It'll probably be very, very motion sickness inducing. Here we go, ambulance. We're going to go, well, faster than the many ambulances have gone before. Because uh, 150 hitting the sand is, is still oh, pretty damn violent. Now, try and keep it through the middle. Avoid that patch of grass if we can. Oh, we're going to go over a very similar manner to last time. That's the engine destroyed. Uh, interestingly, we haven't gone to that violent death spin that we saw from the sports cars. In fact, we've just sort of skidded along on our roof. I wonder if... I don't know where we're going to ever... Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> that's, that's not the sight you want to see when you look behind. We might even make it to the water. So... Oh, God. That's, that is some damage to the rear axle there. Okay, while well, the violent death spin didn't happen, it's twisted the entire axle. What more steering this time? I think because of the size of the box, essentially, on the back of this... When it gets tipped upright, that's catching on the f that's, that's catching on the floor. That's actually stopping it from going over. Kind of good, kind of good in some regards. Kind of bad. We don't get the violent, the, the real violent death spin, but instead, what we're getting is destruction to the engine and drive lines. That that axle, even if the engine survived, that axle was so twisted it wasn't going to be a, it wasn't going to be drivable. Uh, okay, let's try it. We're going to go more to the... Oh, God, we're going to go more to the left. We're going to kind of bring it back because there is a big bank there. Sorry, more to the right. Uh, no. Yes, right, but there's a big bank over on the right-hand side. Oh, there's that, that bump further down is what causes it trouble. Tires are gone. Now we're starting to go into that uh, fair, well, a fairly vicious death spin, but you know what? I think this might have survived the best of all of them. Because, well, the muscle car survived the best of all. This is survived the best run for the uh, ambulance. Uh, yeah, that drives and that steers. Well, that's not the outcome I expected. I thought this was going to disintegrate every single time. However, all that extra bodywork, all that extra bodywork soaks up the damage to the point where, well, enough energy has been dissipated, enough speed has been taken off that it can then land on its wheels and be drivable. I mean, we're eating a lot of the side panel of the ambulance there. Uh, you know, in, in general, overall, this is not in too terrible a shape. I mean, it, it's, it's missing a lot of the back of it, but it could be worse. <laughs> it could be worse, indeed. I, it's not the result that I expected. However, ambulance, pretty damn good at surviving that uh, horrendous trouble. Although the muscle car, still the best. That got down there pretty much intact. Like a couple of bent bits of bodywork, and uh, that was it. Well, <laughs> 
There we go. That was uh, a look at trying to survive uh, the horrendously dangerous drop. A lot of fun. I highly recommend this uh, this map. I'll stick a link to it in the description and a link to the um, the Fairways Motorsport muscle car as well. So you can download them, have a go with them yourself. But that's going to be it from me. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.